All right, welcome back. This is going to be a rather quick video, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show how to repurpose the software defined radio that's inside the War Dragon Pro and and have it detect and decode ADSB. You could obviously add another SDR and I'm considering other things in the future for War Dragon Pro, but uh, this was asked and so I think it's worth showing a quick way of uh, when you're not looking to detect and potentially decode DJI's uh, OcuSync based drone ID, you can um, repurpose the SDR for many different uses, uh, use cases. In fact, the uh, firmware image that is on the Ant SDR E200 as configured in WarDragon Pro is essentially like a Pluto SDR based firmware. It can be swapped out for a UHD firmware and obviously there's a lot of flexibility in the opus, openness of the War Dragon Pro kit, but I'm going to focus on as it's delivered and how you can quickly change to do something else with the SDR. First, we're going to get clone down re, uh, re ADSB. I've shown in the past using Docker and everything else, but this is really going to be simple, I promise. And it'll be taken care of in a future image where all of this will already be installed. It'll be packaged up. But if you want to do it in the meantime, this is a way that you could do it and, and not really hurt anything. So I'm going to change into the War Dragon Pro directory and I'm going to git clone this down. And now I've made no other changes. I'm just going to do a make soapy SDR equals yes. I'm, I'm actually recording obviously on a, a brand new War Dragon Pro kit. I have a monitor uh, plugged in temporarily because I didn't want to set up a, a remote desktop to it or, or SSH at the moment. And, and that is how easy that is to build a re ADSB on the War Dragon Pro. It's worth noting that the Dragon Sync repository that's included on the War Dragon Pro has also been updated, and so it natively is going to be able to grab the re uh, ADSB information and at least for now send that cursor around target. So, along with your other dongles in the War Dragon Pro that are still dedicated to do, for example, uh, uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz based remote ID as well as Bluetooth based remote ID, you'll also simultaneously be able to do the ADSB. Okay, just essentially sacrificing the OcuSync based stuff for right now if you want to use uh, the SDR that's in the kit. So just just note that those two things are needed. Another thing that we need to do, I'm just in another terminal window here. I'm going to go to War Dragon, Ant SDR, the uh, uh, directory here. Just trying to think. I think a sudo sh on the service controller may be okay. We'll check. We'll uh, initiate a stop command. What that's going to do is uh, behind the scenes, it just goes into the uh, Ant SDR E200 and stops the um, processes that are running to detect DJI dr uh, drone uh, ID and essentially frees it up to be. Uh, almost like a normal uh, Pluto SDR. I uh, can't remember if I just <laughs> mentioned, but there's other firmware that can be installed on the SDR that's in the, the War Dragon Pro. Obviously, again, at the sacrifice of what I designed it to do, but you can put UHD based firmware and you can do some other really interesting things with that software to find radio. I just stopped the drone ID routine for the moment. Of course, a reboot or a power cycle of the radio, those routines will be back and running. So, now that we have stopped that, we can take a look at what we're going to do next, which I briefly mentioned it in the uh, documentation here, where we would run a command such as this. Uh, I'm just looking at what I put here. This is going to have the API running on 8080, so just be aware if you have anything else running on that port, which you shouldn't. Um, it's going to use uh, SOAPY SDR, the Pluto SDR is the driver, okay, so on and so forth. Now I'm just running this from the command line, but what I would 
probably end up doing is uh, in, in the War Dragon Pro kit in the future, when this is all included, I would have a service file, a re, re ADSB would be a service that could be uh, started and stopped, and there would be a default uh, configuration file. I think by, uh, well, by default, it'll be in the Etsy default re ADSB .def default file it, when you actually install re ADSB. And I'll probably make it something similar to this to mirror my command line things that I'm putting in. Obviously, it could be adjusted the uh, whether it's a, you know soapy or you decided to add an extra SDR perhaps onto the side of the Word Dragon Pro. You could make some changes here, and so you could keep the Ant SDR doing what it's doing, and you could have another SDR dedicated to ADSB. Or this could even extend to AIS and so on and so forth as I add more into the uh, Dragon Sync piece that's going to convert that information into our uh, common operating picture, battlefield management, whatever you want to call it, um, whether that's Lattice, uh, uh, let me think, uh, uh, ATAC, um, you know, those type of things. Potentially even uh, I'll expand that information to go into MQTT for logging and so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to run a command line. And what we should see here is that we're already getting that aircraft information. And I don't even have a good uh, 1090 based antenna on here. In fact, it's the 2.45 gigahertz antenna uh, that's meant to look for drones. So obviously that could be improved. And I'll just show you the other piece of this, which is if we go into our or Dragon folder again into Dragon Sync. I have it running in the background, but I'm going to show it running again here, just in debug mode, so that you could see that the information in the background here is going to be picked up and be sent. Oop! Actually, sorry. We need to alter the configuration file from the stock, and we'll just change ADSB enabled to true. I'm not going to really mess with anything else. It is on that port. That's the URL that is needed. And so Dragon Sync is going to grab that and read that information. So uh, I don't have it set up to, um, at least I don't think, print out. Let me check one more time. Uh, yeah, I mustn't have it set up to where the XML is uh, spit out as to what the uh, caught message is but we can see that it is sending those uh, caught messages on the interfaces so um, I'm just going to pull up uh, ITAC here much more fond of ATAC And so on my ITAC, which of course you can't see, I have uh, roughly four to five aircraft being shown. Uh, their locations, ranges, um, remarks uh, that include um, altitude, track, so on and so forth. So it's really essentially that easy to integrate uh, ADSB detecting and uh, tracking into the War Dragon Pro. All right, so I just wanted to touch on that. Uh, again, this will be refined and just included in the uh, base image, and we'll see where things go from there. All right, thank you.